right, today we're going to do a quick rundown of the Thumper Lithium LiPo 4 batteries. We'll start with the 100 amp hour. The 100 amp hour is our entry level unit. It comes with a 100 amp BMS system, 100 amp discharge, 100 amp recharge. We then move on to the 120. Probably the most popular battery in the range. The 120 amp hour, same battery management system, 100 amp hour charge, 100 amp hour discharge. We are going to do a full breakdown of the battery so you can see all the internals and how they compare with other batteries. Our top of the range battery is our 170. Very popular in size, the battery completely fills the case. Internal battery management system, 150 amp discharge on this continuous and 150 amp recharge. We're done realistic, but it can be done. What we're going to do is we're going to do a quick rundown on what a battery management system is. Most of your cheaper ranges of batteries will have a BMS system about the size of this. This is a 60 amp continuous battery management system. No temperature sensors, a basic battery management system that will control the discharge and recharge of the battery. Fairly basic but not rated to a big discharge, around 60 amps. So not really suitable for anything with an inverter power. Very important when you buy a lithium battery, find out how big the BMS system is, the heart of the battery. A higher quality BMS system is this one here. This is a 100 amp BMS. Two strings coming off, so it gives you higher discharge current. This has an internal temperature sensor in the BMS system no battery sensor. 50 amp, 60 amp BMS, a 100 amp BMS. Now we're going to pull down the 120 amp lithium thumper battery. This one here has an extremely large battery management system. All our thumper batteries have the same size, physical size, battery management system. When you compare it with what most competitors use, that's their battery management system. This is our battery management system. Wired in 30 square cable, four strings of 10 mil square cable, so you can have a maximum discharge of 100, 120 amps continuous if you need to. These are the ideal batteries if you want to run heavy inverters, if you want to parallel link them, if you want to series link them. Our Thumper range of batteries can have unlimited parallel linking and four in series up to 48 volts and then you can string them as far as you like. So you can end up with 10 kilowatts, 20 kilowatts if you want to, doesn't matter. Internally on the battery is a rubber seal. The rubber seal which you may be able to see there uh, it's just a bit hard to see. As a rubber seal goes around the battery to give it an IP65 rating. So these batteries can be mounted on the A-frame of the caravan and can be mounted on the side. Where they're not submergible, they are waterproof for river crosses and that sort of thing. Internally on this one, we have four strings going to the battery and four strings coming off to the negative terminal. We have an internal temperature sensor on the battery management system. So if the battery gets warm, when it's high charging, the battery will shut down. We also hear on the side, you may just be able to see the small wire, there's a temperature sensor which goes down the side of the battery to also measure the battery temperature. That's it there. This also protects the battery if it's really hot in the back of a vehicle and you're charging at 60 degrees in the back of a vehicle, the battery can start to warm up it will reduce the charge rate of the battery, so the battery never gets hot. Lipo 4 batteries are the safest lithium battery on the market. They do not catch fire, they do not explode. You can even pierce the battery and they won't explode. They're perfectly safe to have inside a van, on the A-frame of van, back of a vehicle. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick breakdown of the internals of the 120 battery. This here shows you the massive battery management system. It has protection every way, over voltage, under voltage. Its cell balancing is absolutely incredible. They will balance the cells to within 0.01 of a volt. 
and that's due to the size of the management system. The smaller ones are very basic and they just do a good job but they don't do a great job.